Hey guys, so just an update from the last batch we did. So we attempted to do turkey tail in some bags. So here's the progress so far. We are making progress. I mean, we're 20 days in. Um, there is some progress in both of the bags. Um, very limited. I mean, no sign of, um, of contamination. Um, mostly on the, in the center parts. I think because the the sides I've been turning them every couple of days just because the amount of water that was in there still quite a bit of water I still don't think these are gonna work but we still had holding up hope there's no contamination so far so we're going to continue to hold out hope there <clears throat> we also added some grain to some honey um, on the same day and as you can see at the top here we have got some contamination growing there um, so that's what that looks like even though the mycelium at the bottom still looks healthy um, if I go and mix this now um, it's a it's surely going to be an issue um, I have been trying a few different um, ways of, of solving the contamination issue uh, but let, let me explain from here so what I've done <coughs> in this one let's see if I can find the contamination spot there it is there you see it okay so that's where the contamination is this was a contaminated petri dish which i as you can see i grabbed uh, um, pieces and chucked it into some grain um, to make some grain spawn the mycelium was doing really well and i read a video uh, watched a video online just saying um, that if you have contamination you can re-sterilize all your grain, um, kill everything, and it should um, uh, it should should be alright to recolonize. I only popped this in the um, the pressure cooker for twenty minutes. Uh, the mycelium seemed to survive, but it would seem that so did the um, the contamination and as you can see it seems to have grown a bit there at the top as well okay so that's that one there so I've been trying different ways to deal with that this I did 10 days earlier so this seems to be a different type of contamination as you can see the mycelium seems to be dying and um, there's some yellow gungy looking stuff at the bottom there so this was done four days earlier and that seems to be something I can toss out. Similar situation where I've got contamination on the top. Um, it was grain that was added. Um, this is not a very great bottle. Um, it's not very clear um, showing you the actual mycelium growth there. This one here has also got contamination in it. There it is there. You can see the little green spots. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I put a date on this one. Um, no, I didn't put a date on this one. This is sad. Um, so I've got some contamination there. Uh, this too was from what I suspected to be a contaminated liquid culture. So I wanted to see what the issue was there. And you can only really see once you've got, got it played out. This is also done on the same day. It's also the green spawn. So far, so good. No contamination on top. Um, and the mycelium seems to be growing quite well in there. This was also done from the same contaminated petri dish uh, a few days earlier than the last video. And that mycelium seems to be looking healthy in there. Let's show you a few more. Okay, so remember I told you I did these three margarine, margarine containers. 
Um, the one was a micropore tape with microwaving. And this was no micropore tape with microwaving. And then there was a third one with uh, micropore tape but no microwaving. Um, the third one definitely without microwaving was an issue. It went green almost immediately. Um, and I had to toss that out. These ones are looking all right. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly, quickly lift the lid. Look at that. Looking good. And even this one looking good there. And that is fantastic. Anyway, so those are still looking good there. This one is uh, done on a different day. It was done on the 20th. So about six days after the last video, um, and no, it's not beans, <laughs> but this ended up having contamination. Um, I'll show you now quickly. So this had contamination down this area here, um, and what I did is sprayed it with a whole bunch of alcohol, um, my normal like sterilization alcohol, and... Um, and then chuck the whole thing in the microwave for four minutes. The mycelium seemed to survive and I don't see any signs of contamination. So, so far so good. I mean, there might be more underneath, but who knows? We'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so, and also remember we did the bottles. Um, I did a bottle of the bran and vermiculite and um, oak sawdust and it seems to be progressing just like the bags but uh, yeah it's taking its time yet the grain spawn um, that I did on the same day is looking good and healthy I've even um, taken one of these bottles that I did and already separated out into a a bucket tech um, and hoping that to see some progress there over the next few weeks um, I've also got lion's mane in a bucket tech going and uh, hopefully as soon as I have some um, some fruits there I'll I'll show you guys that in the meantime I'm going to toss out everything that is contaminated um, so that I've got a clean um, area to continue working with with the stuff that isn't so thanks all and have a great afternoon